Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys. Stereo systems and vinyl players can quickly become really expensive when you start to add up all the different components. But that's where something like this, the Electro Home Kingston 7-in-1 record player, Bluetooth player, CD player, AM, FM radio comes in handy. Priced at just $200, it's ready to play pretty much anything you can throw at it. So how does it perform for that price? Well, let's check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So first off, let's take a look at the overall design. As you can see, it has a vintage classic kind of style to it with the mesh grill that covers up the speakers. You can actually kind of see the outline of the speakers because of the light behind that grill. So there are four speakers in there that will actually play the audio. And since it does house a record player in the top, as you can imagine, uh, it's, it's a pretty big device as well. Measuring at 12 and a quarter by 17.3 by 13.5 inches, it takes up a bit of space wherever you place it. So popping the lid, you can see that we have the turntable on top here. So pretty basic functionality on the turntable. On the front here, you can see we have, uh, obviously we've talked about the mesh grill, which covers the four speakers. And then we have all the controls with a little screen. So we'll go ahead and turn it on just by pushing in that left dial, which uh, that's what turns it on, that's a standby mode, but then also controls the volume. And then over here on the other side, this right dial will control your source by pushing in the button and then tuning depending on what source you're using by turning it. So if you're on the radio, which we are now, by turning this dial, we'll be able to go through all the different stations. In the middle, we see the simple screen surrounded by buttons for playback, EQ, Bluetooth mode, and even a button to record tracks onto a flash drive in the USB port. And under the screen, we have the CD tray. On the back, we have another input with the aux in, as well as two RCA jacks for audio out. We also have the power switch and power cord input. Crafted in MDF or medium density fiberboard, the Kingston is covered in a wood veneer to give it more of a vintage look. In my opinion, Electro Home has really nailed the vintage style uh, with this cabinet. Um, and I, I think it looks really great if that's the aesthetic you're going for. When you start to actually play with some of the different buttons and everything though, you start to see where that $200 price point comes in. Um, some of the actual touch points are kind of lackluster, uh, mainly the dials. They're pretty wobbly here and they just feel a little bit cheaper than uh, what you would hope for. But I do think that is a byproduct of the really affordable price point on this. And so let's go through all the different sources. You can see all of them down here on the screen as we go through them. So first we have Phono, which is the record player. Uh, we talked about that a little bit. It's a very basic, very simple operation on that. It does have auto stop, but the tone arm won't automatically return to its home. So you need to manually move that. It has different speed modes for 33, 45, and 78. So it should be able to play any size record. And then it's really easy to close the lid while playing media as well. So you don't need to worry about leaving that open and letting any dust come in through the top. Pushing in that source button again, now we're at auxiliary. So anything that's plugged into the back via that 3.5 millimeter cable um, will play through here. Next up, we have the CD, which uh, has a really discreet tray down here. It doesn't take up too much. You can just push the eject button there. And that'll come out and you can load that in. Um, so that's very easy to operate. Then obviously with all of your controls over here, uh, next track, previous track, play, pause, uh, it's really easy to navigate on there. Next up, we have the USB. So as you can see down here, it has a USB port. Um, so that either works for playing media or combined with the CD input, you can actually record some CD audio onto a USB flash drive. So if you have things that you wanna make digital copies of, that's really easy to do with the Kingston. Then next up we have Bluetooth, which is really quick and easy to pair. And there's even a Bluetooth button on here. So if you're in a different source and you wanna quickly get to Bluetooth, you can just push that button and it'll quickly go over there. And getting the Bluetooth 4.1 connected to my iPhone 8 was super easy uh, and everything worked just as it should. And then we have the FM and AM radio signals as the last two inputs on here. And those are really easy to control. You can control the tune uh, just by turning this dial like we showed earlier. And then obviously you can turn it up and down with the volume button over here. So how does it sound? Well, I do think this is another place where the cheap price uh, shows through as well. Don't get me wrong, it sounds very decent for the price, especially considering everything that it can do. But compared to like a dedicated pair of stereo speakers, um, the Kingston doesn't have the same audio quality. Listening to Alabama Shakes on vinyl sounds great, but you do lose some of the nuanced details. And on busy cluttered metal tracks like Missed by Protest the Hero, it starts to get pretty mushy in the guitars. 
There are some EQ options, which there's a dedicated EQ button right on here, or you can also use uh, the remote, which is really handy. But there are a few different EQ options, so you can dial up uh, just bass and treble, either plus three or minus three. So not a lot of EQ customization you can do in there, uh, but you can tweak it a little bit depending on what you're listening to. But the really neat thing about the Electro Home Kingston is that if you're using this for a while and you're not super satisfied with the sound of it, you can still use it for all those input options and just plug another pair of speakers into the back with that audio out. So that makes this a really good standalone all-in-one option with some decent sound quality if you're not doing really critical listening. But if you do wanna you know, boost it up and get better sound out of it, you can add in some third-party speakers to take this to the next level and still keep that awesome vintage style. So overall, if you're looking for an affordable all-in-one option and you really love the vintage style of the Kingston and you don't do a whole lot of critical listening, um, I do think that you're gonna really enjoy the Electro Home Kingston 7-in-1 system. If you are seeking just the best audio quality, then you're probably gonna wanna get some more dedicated specific pieces and build out a different stereo system. So what do you think of the Electro Home Kingston 7-in-1 sound system? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys.